decided to just live stream this instead. There's um, a lot of people on YouTube that haven't actually done this walkthrough yet, so I'm going to take you through it. The lights out and uh, prom oh, no, lights out on a promising career challenge. Uh, I'll, I'm uploading it now, but uh, for some reason the first like 20 seconds is cut off, so I'm just going to stream it and then upload it after. It'll work out better that way, I think. I've already completed this uh, technique several times now, uh, as you can see. Let's look at the challenges. Uh, I've done it. Well, I've done any silent assassin. I've done the lights out on a promising career. I haven't done it any any dumb, stupid way like dragging a, an unconscious body out on the catwalk. I haven't done any stupid shit like that. This is the the legitimate way of doing it. This is this is my way of doing it anyway. So let's just set this up. Um, we don't really, we don't need it. We'll just start from the main entrance. Because this is on PS4, it takes a very long time to load. It's a pain in the ass. It's a great game, apart from the whole long load time stuff. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. So my video is just absolutely, actually just uploaded. It's just popped up right now, but let's just try and do it this way because I think it takes a long time because there's a lot of waiting around the world. Welcome to Paris 47. The Palais de Villesca is hosting the fashion event of the year, and your target is on site to supervise Cicada security for Russian oligarch Victor Novikov. Security is high, and the target is likely to be highly suspicious of anything out of the ordinary. He's also sure to know this will be uploaded straight after so the stream's finished anyway, and I'm only going to do this challenge for now. If anyone's watching this in the future, not that's on, not watching the live stream. If you want to see more challenges, I'm more than willing to do it. I've done every single one of them now, and I know this level the back of the back of my hand. I'm picking up that pass there, just in case I need to I need it to go back upstairs, which I probably really won't anyway. What the director's gonna do? He's gonna go down to the basement into the safe room. I'm not completely sure why. I think he's just like um. Because he's the director, he's looking over things. And, uh, something goes wrong, and then that's when he comes out. That's where people are going wrong. They can't. Oops, I don't need to go in there. My bad. You're good to go, sir. Thank so we need to create a reason for him to come out. So, wait, please yeah, have this stupid conversation. What the sanguine boss, Novikov? He asked if I could make him one. Oh, that. Yes, yeah, shit. I forgot. It's a cocktail, his favorite apparently. The palace owner, Mr. Laren, left us the recipe, but I think I left it down in the basement. I was gonna copy it out and laminate it, but, you know. Eh, whatever, who cares? Booze is booze, right? Nah, I should really go look for it. Man pays our wages. Serves a decent drink. Okay, follow this guy. Obviously, take him out. Don't have to kill him, it's up to you. There will be collateral damage on this, no matter what, because in the light rig, you're going to kill a few people. So, you can't do this. It's impossible to do this perfect stealth. 
of this particular challenge, I mean. Check his disguise. Now what we have to do is go ahead and kill Sato. Where is he? Now we have to wait for him to go outside and smoke his cigarette. He, he's going to go upstairs and present the show, basically going on the stage and you know talking to the audience and things. But if we if we get rid of him, Novikov has to take it to the stage and the director uh, follows him behind. And he stays on the stage, monitoring things behind. So, where's the target at the moment? He's upstairs. So we're just waiting for Sato to come back into his position. Hey, screw you, man! Well, we've come full circle. This one's so bad, it's almost... Bump into me again and pay the consequences. We're gonna put a coin into this diorama here. If you haven't got any coins, just pick this one up here. Oh yeah, just barge on through, He's going to come and take a sip of his champagne and he's going to walk around at this point right here. It's going to be a perfect blind spot to take him out. Let's see the directors going downstairs into the basement. <laughs> This is the actual way to do it because I've done this, this, is the, this will be the fourth time now that I've done this technique and it's worked every time. So this is the actual technique. A lot of people just can't figure this out. But this is the solution that I've found to be quite effective. So now we've taken out Sato. Let me wave here. Picking the schedule here. Get the screwdriver here. I don't know why, I will do it. And we're gonna make. Uh, we need to make our way up into the attic. So we're gonna put our suit back on. That's what we'll do. Because this waiter's costume is not gonna get us upstairs. So this is where the invitation comes into play. So we need to get upstairs. Because now everything's set up. What we gotta do really is just get in the attic now and just. Uh, Pretty much wait. Okay. Now you're in your suit, you can get upstairs with your invitation. Hello there. Invitees only. Do you have yours? Thank you, sir. Please continue. Good evening, sir. Please come in. I hope you enjoy yourself. So taking out Saito, um, pretty much, if you're a director of a show, obviously you don't want things to go wrong. So obviously he's going to be directing things from behind the scenes and to make things Thank go you. right. I'm one, uh, presuming he tells Novikov to go on stage and to do a speech himself. Um, and he like stands behind the stage kind of thing. Anyway, now we've made it to the second floor. Did you want to come through here? Because he frisks you, he's going to go to the third floor, so get over here. Without that guy saying, huh? come off the ledge.
from up here. You won't get spotted from here because uh, you've got our invitation and you're not in a you're not trespassing or anything, so it's okay. Mr. Jordan Cross, Tren Poe, you have been expecting my call. Yeah, I got a strange feeling. Okay. Um, right. Just carry back all the way around here. We've got plenty of time, so don't worry about it. Just sneak past these guards. This is this conversation because after this, I think it helps us really good. Well, these bozos realize what happens if it drops. Everybody on stage will be crushed. Uh uh, never gonna happen. Oh yeah, Murphy's Law, ring a bell? Yeah yeah. If anything that could go wrong actually went wrong, the freaking universe wouldn't even be here. Nah, that that's different though. Many leading scientists now support the multiverse theory. Which means that everything that could go wrong did, in fact, go wrong. Just, you know, not here. Oh, oh, thank you, Carl Sagan. I am familiar with the multiverse theory, Chief. Anyway, mark my words, that light rig is bad news. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Second. Sorry about that, I was just uh, replying to a comment on YouTube in regards to this actual challenge. Uh, so, where is the director right now? He is he's still in his room, but he will make a move in just another little while. So watch out for these guards over there because they keep coming over. But to be honest, get onto this white rig. Still, this guy ain't gonna see you. Just in case, I'll hold it here. to move his ass. Go away. There we go. Make sure you pick up that crowbar by the way. So now he's moving. So now we're up here in the light rig. It triggers him to move. So now he's heading towards the stage with Novikov. 
Nova Cop will come on stage, start doing his speech, and the director will be at the back of the stage. And that is when we're going to drop the rig. It is going to kill a lot of uh, non-targets, but this is not really what the challenge is about. There's no, it's impossible to not kill anybody with the light rig because there's people already on stage and around the stage, so it's just the way it is. As I said, because you've taken out Sato, uh, the director's found out that he's gone missing, and the director's obviously come out of his little office where the cameras are and things. It was called the tech room. Yeah, so he's come up here and now to discuss things. See so now, no, the car's gonna come on stage. Director's just making his way. Here he comes. There he is, soon. It's just there. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wasn't that something? Well, wait for these two guys to back away first. Everybody. Before we drop it down. Now, I know what you're thinking. Get off stage, Victor Novikov. <laughs> yes, yes, quite right, quite right. This is Sebastian's big moment, and he should be the one up here, basking in all of your love. But do you know what he said to me? Victor, he said, I couldn't have done this. So this just go out and move away. My finest collection. And then we'll drop it. You. you should take the stage this evening. Naturally, I refused, but Sebastian, he was adamant. To the person who's just joined the stream, um, fashion line this will be uploaded not straight just the effort onto YouTube after I've explained everything line. that you need no. to do involved to get no. to this stage right now. I used to think so, but I was wrong. He's on stage. We're just waiting for these two guys to get out of the way because we don't want to get spotted. Of personality. We want to clean the break. entrepreneur and the artist are equals. That business and art about timing? are like heart and soul. There's no way to do this mission Therefore, fast. Victor, my no. dear, dear friend, the stage is yours. So, so we've got kill a few people, but uh, you know, don't worry about it. Hold it for a second. That's your challenge. Obviously, it's not going to pop up for me because I've already done it. But we have killed him with a light rig. And no one seems interested. He's just going to stand there and. Yep. We'll wait for him to move and then we'll make. We'll get out of here. It's not all that difficult. You can do this again and again. It's not. It's not that hard. Okay, we'll go now. We have a lockdown situation. Please leave now. Okay, what happened? Did you call the army? You. Enough. Okay. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah. Stop looking at me. Uh, excuse me. Are you on drugs? Yeah, just go this way. Seems to be a nice neighborhood. What is it? I don't have. Is it oh, okay, good. Thanks. Sure. Uh, 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 no one spots you. No one sees you or anything like that. They made those comments, but they didn't spot me or anything. Don't worry about that. But it, it really doesn't make a difference because you've killed, you know, several people in that stage anyway. And literally now you can just walk out. Walk towards the exit if you want to. Or badass like. Or you can just run. You've got the freedom. No one suspects you or anything, so 
don't have anything to worry about. Uh, if you want to know any more about any more challenges or locations of any things that you might need or want on this stage, just let me know. And I'll do a video about it. I know this but I know this stage on the back of my hand I've done every single challenge there is a hundred percent of it. So any questions just let me know. I mean you can do this whole thing suit only if you wanted to. But it wouldn't really make much difference because you're not going to get a very good score in this anyway. There we go. Again, obviously it's not going to pop up because I've already I've already accomplished it already. But I can show you again. Look, you won't get a very good score because you got killed. You know, many people. It's taken 18 minutes. So there's a lot of waiting around involved. But I have done it, as you can see here. Lights out on a promising career ticked. So that's the that's the walkthrough right there. Like, if, if you know again, if you've got any questions, just let me know. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, cheers.